All right, now we're on to lesson 9.7, time to the half hour, which we've also already been doing. How do you tell time to the half hour on a clock that has only an hour hand? You already know, but let's talk about it anyway. Circle four o'clock, five o'clock, or between four o'clock and five o'clock to describe the time shown on the clock. Well, what's it pointing to? That's right, four o'clock. What's it pointing to here? Well, it's right between four o'clock and five o'clock, is it? Isn't it in here? Sure enough, it's right at five o'clock. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's look here. As an hour passes, the hour hand moves from one number to the next. When a half hour has passed, the hour hand points halfway between the two numbers. The hour, the hour hand here is halfway between the seven and the eight. So we say that it is half past seven o'clock. Now, because we've already been covering this, this is going to be pretty easy. The hardest part about it actually is going to be fitting it in this space because you'll notice that they gave themselves, and they have a computer to type on, this much space. Let's see. From, let's see. Let's use some non-standard measurement here. They gave themselves about one, two, three, four, five cubes worth of space, right half past seven. Did they give you that much space? No. In fact, they gave you just a little bit over three cubes worth of space, and you aren't a computer. That really wasn't very nice of them. So I'm going to show you a shortcut way to write this. Later, we'll be talking about fractions, and we write the fraction one half like this. We write a little one over top, write a, a one and a line and a two. You can also write it like this, one over two. In fact, that might be a better way to practice writing it. A one up in the top, small, a line across the middle, and then a two on the bottom. Half, that means one part out of two. One half past, spell it correctly because it's right here, half past, there it is, half past, well, it's half past what? Yep, it's between the one and the two, it's halfway past one, and you can just write the number, half past one, that way you can fit it. Okay, here it's halfway between the, between the four and the five, which means it's half past, half past four. So write our fraction, half past, and then four. Okay, go ahead and get it done quickly. I bet you can.